Hey, this is Dr. K from iMedical School, and today we're going to do an antibiotic review, where we're going to review the carbapenem antibiotics. So let's begin. Examples of carbapenems include imipenem, meropenem, and ertapenem. The carbapenems have the broadest antibacterial activity of any category of antibiotic. Their gram-positive coverage includes beta-hemolytic strep, strep pneumonia, and methicillin-sensitive staph aureus. In addition, their gram-negative coverage includes enterobacteriaceae, haemophilus influenza, as well as Moraxella. Carbapenems have different coverage depending on which one you choose. Imipenem provides great coverage for susceptible enterococcus species. But note, ertapenem is not active against enterococci. Though, as a whole, carbapenems are generally more active against strep pneumonia than ceftriaxone or cefotaxime. Another example of the differences in coverage between the different carbapenems is seen when talking about Pseudomonas and Acinobacter. Miropenem and Inipenem covers most strains of Pseudomonas and Acinobacter, but Ertapenem does not cover these microbes. Carbapenems as a whole have very excellent anaerobic activity. However, they are not active against MRSA, Legionella, Chlamydophila, Mycoplasma, some strains of Pseudomonas, and Stenotrophomonas. The differences between imipenem and meropenem are that imipenem has slightly better gram-positive activity, specifically when talking about Enterococcus fischialis. In addition, imipenem has better gram-negative activity than meropenem when talking about Pseudomonas aeruginosa. So now let's talk about the clinical uses of carbapenems. Carbapenems are used in the treatment of polymicrobial infections including intra-abdominal, pelvic, pulmonary, and necrotizing soft tissue infections. In many febrile neutropenia protocols, imipenem and meropenem are used as third or fourth line agents if the primary agents like ceftriaxone or antifungals do not provide improvement in the patient. Now let's talk about the elimination as well as the side effects that are really important to note about carbapenems. So carbapenems are renally eliminated. They are associated with some side effects including nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, hypersensitivity, and drug fever. The most important side effect to note is that carbapenems lower the seizure threshold. So it's extremely important to not use or be very judicious in your use of carbapenems in patients with known seizure disorders. Try to use alternate agents that cover the same microbes in patients who do have recent history of seizures. Well, that was a brief review of carbapenems. If you like this video, give it a like. If you have any comments about the video or any suggestions for future videos, place them down below. And most importantly, subscribe. Also, check out our website called medpulse.org, M-E-D-P-U-L-S-E dot O-R-G. I'll be putting up these YouTube videos on that website as well as small vignettes slash case reports you kind of work through. In addition, there'll be small other health articles on there that you can read. Something else I'm going to try is putting up case reports in video format. Have you guys put answers on how you'd work up these patients in the comment section and then provide kind of the common workup or the standard workup that you would do in a subsequent video after. If you guys like that format, we'll continue it and we'll see how it goes. All right, this is Dr. K from my medical school, and I'll see you next time.